Okay. This is the collaboration knife between myself at a Fury's Urban Combat Knives, um, Eugene Honrath of Shadow Warriors, and Matt Peterson of Voodoo Resins. Uh, it's a rescue style friction folder. Uh, Eugene came up with the basic design for it, and uh, we sat down and got it on paper together. Um, it comes in its own Kydex sheath uh, with a whole Stex holder that'll hold the grenade pin that actually locks the blade in place to uh, make it as solid as a, a fixed blade. The uh, knife itself is six and three quarters inches closed, uh, has a built-in window breaker, uh, bottle opener. The hole in the end is for the uh, locking pin once it is uh, seated in the open position. Um, it's all O1 tool steel. The blade is hardened to 58 to 60 HRC. Um, as well as the liners and uh, the uh, backspacer. The hardware holding it together is stainless steel. Uh, once it's open, it's eight inches over all length. Um, the uh, pin, which is in the sheath, comes out and you can stick it right through the handle and it has a detent ball and will lock into place. You can also put your finger through the ring as well and stays in your hand pretty secure, hard to drop it. Uh, nice and sharp. It is only sharp on one side. The top is only tapered. There's jimping all the way down the back and the front of the blade for a sure grip. Um, it, it's good for cutting. I mean, it's got a nice edge on it. And uh, it's about a 25 degree angle, so it's pretty easy to sharpen uh, using regular stones or uh, rods. Um, this was about a two month process as far as getting it all together on paper, coming up with the, the plans we wanted and something that was going to uh, fit the needs that we were looking for. Um, and uh, finally got to come to fruition here this week and knocked it out and got it finished. And it will be going up uh, sometime here in the near future. Uh, we still have to get together with each other and uh, settle out the minutia as far as putting it up for sale or uh, for a, a raffle or whatever. Uh, the scales are uh, Matt Peterson Voodoo Resin Glow in the Dark. Uh, they're extremely bright. Uh, I posted a picture uh, with some of the uh, photos of it finished and you can see it glowing and that's not after a long light exposure. Uh, if you have any questions, hit up me uh, or Eugene or Matt and we'll get back with you. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.